Hi, my name is Belinda Shi. Welcome to another episode of my photography tips. Today I'm going to talk about the second P of my 3P photo creation process, which is the photo taking stage. And um, more specifically, I'm going to talk about how important uh, you should use your histogram to get your exposure right. That lots of amateur photographers, especially beginner photographers, absolutely had no idea what histogram is. Sometimes they wonder why their photo is underexposed or overexposed, even um, it looks perfect on the LCD screen behind your camera after you take the photo, it looks like it, it, it's perfectly exposed. But uh, when you import the photos into the computer and um, you will actually find out that uh, the brightness or the darkness of the photos might look different from what you see from the LCD screen. That's why it's so important that the right tool to evaluate the whether your photo is exposed right or not is not to use your eyes to look at the LCD screen, but to access your histogram. So most of the modern um, uh, camera, especially DSLR camera, these days uh, do have a histogram. Um, and uh, in my Canon camera, uh, in the display mode, uh, live view, I press info to get access to my histogram. Uh, you probably wouldn't see it here on the screen and it's not so important because even um, different models of Canon camera, how to access your histogram, which button to press uh, could be very different. And not to mention that if you use Nikon or other cameras. So make sure to read your camera manual if you don't know how to access your histogram. Uh, a histogram is typically a rectangular chart uh, and then every photo you took, you will see a curve in the histogram. If your curve, majority of the curve rests on the left hand side of the histogram, that means your um, uh, photo is under uh, exposed. If the majority of the curve rests on the right side, right, right hand side of the histogram, that means your photo is overexposed. But as long as your curve rests between the left edge and the right edge of the histogram, it is fine. Even if it's, oh, it might be underexposed or overexposed. But if you have a spike, you, if you have a part of the curve completely sticking to the left-hand side of the histogram, that means um, this part of the uh, photo is completely, completely underexposed and the data is lost. And even you import the photos into the computer and try to use post-processing tools to recover that data, it is impossible. Similarly, if you have the spike or part of your histogram curve completely sticking to the right-hand side of the histogram, that means that part of your image is completely washed out, completely overexposed, and the data is lost. Even you have the most advanced Photoshop uh, photo uh, post-processing tools available, you cannot recover that data. That's why it's so important to get the right exposure in the second P, by my definition, the photo taking stage of your photo creation process. Um, all right, I hope this uh, video tutorial is uh, helpful and uh, I will see you very soon in my future episode. And don't forget to sign up my website, belindashi.com. Um, I will share with you more video tutorials very soon. Thank you.